So this build is a actual, it's another dollar store vehicle. And I'm just making a little cruiser speeder thing because I, I like to show what you can do with a buck. We're gonna, we're gonna take this. I already removed the steering column because it blocked that the action figure could sit there. Now it's gone so I can fit a three and three quarter inch figure in there. Just a little elbow grease, a little bit of cutting, careful cutting and trimming. Um, I will smooth that up, but for a dollar, the wheels off i'm gonna make them into some hovercrafts it's gonna be cool for a buck like out of essentially a dollar's worth of plastic and some scraps trash cutoffs off cuts we're gonna make this into a hover car it's gonna be really cool and something unique and interesting for gimmick but i just wanted to show like the ufo you can make something neat for a buck to continue on this path of just using garbage i've been saving these containers because this cardstock's pretty useful for various things and I'm gonna cut this up. I have a straight edge here. I have a brand new X-Acto blade here and I'm gonna make some cover material to cover this up in here to make this into one seat. And also I'm gonna make a little uh, little arch over top of here to fill in to make that into a more uniform seat. Yeah, using trash. I do want to be clear this video is not a how-to, this is just a how-I. But since we last checked in, as you can see the body is now silver instead of blue. I bulked out the seat with some cardboard and some fabric. Um, and like I said, I cut that out. I made the engines out of plastic bits, yogurt, or yogurt? No, apple, applesauce uh, caps. The hubcaps from the wheels. Um, I used a hole punch, just regular hole punch, cut the cardboard put it in for those lights because I want a good gripping base. I think I'm going to do uh, resin in there or maybe some um, some gloss Mod Pod to make the lights shiny, but that's further down the road. I used hair ties from a previous project. That's a toy, that's a toy like camera that I just used for an engine part. You can see I stuck some cable hider under there just to give it a more sci-fi futuristic look. And this is where we're at. Again, that's just a Evil Ted Greebly that I cast in resin like three years ago when they first came out, like before the pandemic. Uh, again, applesauce uh, lid thing from the little squeeze pouches. Super glue, baking powder to make sure everything holds fast. Small Simply Juice lid. Big shout out to Brian Thompson of the uh, Smuggler's Room for those Simply Juice lid ideas. That's from one of the small personal sized ones. Hubcap, Evil Ted mold that again. That was from a cosplay prop. I actually salvaged that off of. You can see strips of cardboard because I've just been working off of this uh, variety pack of oatmeal from the grocery store. And we're getting to the point now as I finish greebling this out. I think I have some sticky beads left from another project. I have to dig because I, I can't seem to find them. But I would love to, excuse me, I'd love to put those on there to look like rivets. Same around here and possibly put a, a one of the bigger ones if I have it. If I don't, I'll leave it blank, but I think it would be cool to have that rounded dome in there on the intake of the engine. But yeah, I've got a I've got a flying car. Like this thing's starting to look the way I want it. So again, this is a excuse me. Over here burping like Rick Sanchez. So again, this is how uh, famine does it. This is not a how-to video because I just wanted a freestyle, but I also you know, you guys, you guys come to my channel, you say nice things, you like seeing my work, so I want to show you how I do some of this, and this has been my guide for if it will fit, and that guy's been my guide to see if it'll fit, he's just cruising around in this little autonomous car, um, be a little neater of a setup once the seat's done, and maybe I'll give it a steering column, I haven't decided, I, I think maybe this is something kind of like a, a smart car, but who knows, I'm still working on this, I may greebly it up a little more, yeah. It's montage. Everything that's absorption has absorption to it, like the cardboard, the plastic. Even though I roughed it up, I gave it a coating. Whole bottom got a coating. Uh, everything's drying up right now. I'm gonna let it air dry. I was gonna use my heat gun, or well, hair dryer actually, uh, but I just decided I'm gonna let it take its time. You can see the interior of the seats. I gave that another coating, even though I already did it with alcohol and Mod Podge earlier. And once that's dry, I'm gonna paint the seat gonna paint the bottom black and get to doing all the detailing weathering yeah again this isn't a how-to this is just how famine's doing it
So as you can see, the first base coat of uh, black over the Mod Pod is all on there, letting it dry. As I was saying, gonna do a coating of uh, black mixed with some Mod Pod just to give it one more good, thick, durable coating. Um, and we'll go from there. So that was, that was scary. So I'm gonna back away from this table and let this dry. As I said, this video is a how famine does, not a uh, how to. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you here, I made a wash using the Vallejo Air and the War Paints Vampire Red. Um, the air that I used was just plain red and some clear water that is now red tinted water because I used to clean my brush. So I just used the back of a Dixie cup. I couldn't tell you the ratio, but it was very thin. And I went over those existing paints, and as the light catches, which you'll see, I'm sure, when this is complete, you can see the color shift paint that's underneath there. And once this is all dried up, I'm going to do the edges in some uh, silver, get some high points hit with some silver. We'll do some weathering with rust colors, finish the glass, seal it. I may weather this or make it a brown to just add a little more contrast, a little more something to make this pop. But... We're getting close to being done on this, and I'm very excited to wrap this project up. Here's the final product. I truly enjoyed how this turned out. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to check out my Ko-Fi down below and buy me a coffee. It keeps me fueled. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great week. And then I think I'm going to do another coating of the black mixed with... Well, at least we know it held together.